What's up? We're in the labs trying to build our ERS circuit. We're having demos here for another module though, so we've been kicked out. Um, the circuit's looking good. Mika and I are working on the game side of it. Stephen and we're still trying to work on the oscillator. oscillator. A bit stressful, but it's going semi decently. Mika has a fresh haircut for Lentida. <laughs> Good morning, it's half past six, the day after Lentida. I uh, was planning on sleeping in until like eight, and my body just naturally woke me up now, which is disappointing to say the least, because I only slept like five, maybe five and a half hours. But I don't even have a headache today, which is wonderful news. I did drink about four and a half, maybe five bottles of water before bed last night while I was editing the Lentida after movie, which you can see over there, or there, where it is. Uh, I'm really proud of it. And so yeah, I guess I'm gonna go to stats now, despite not wanting to. <laughs> Do my thing, my girl is in the club, yeah, we're feeling down to be, yeah, the music gonna repeat, baby. I don't care no one like you, don't need me, I know that you can feel me, we're dancing with my bling bling. So Nick and I in the labs here, we'll be working on practical two for digital systems. It's going well, because done a lot of work yesterday, and we're about to uh, start driving this seven segment display. Which we just have to use. So these now. are all the outputs. Okay, basically, so the we well, I'll get the pin layouts out again, but these are. Um, it starts with F G and then it goes A B C D E. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. So, so we're just busy working on our night, busy our, working on our games. Our game one, game two, game three, and that's uh, due tomorrow. So, just a little Enjoy bit of time pressure. Luckily, Weber, we're all feeling quite alright after yesterday. Tap water is the secret. So we're here, busy debugging because our seven segment LED is not working completely correctly. So we're busy testing with like eight individual LEDs. It is not super fun. Greg Bath is also here. What's that? How's it? How's your circuit? Uh, interesting. Uh, interesting, interesting, do you mean completely fucked? Not quite. I'm trying to get an oscillator to work, but it's not quite oscillator. It oscillates nicely, but it doesn't. I can't get a Schmidt trigger to make it make the sine wave into a square wave. Nice. And it is 12-12. 26 hours till deadline, boys. Alright, it is half past one. Outside of the circuit is kind of done. We're just waiting for a broken so our SSD driver, the the chip that takes in inputs and then spits out the specified inputs for the, the seven segment display driver was busted. So we're waiting for Chris now to see if he's got an extra one or to source another chip for us to use. But outside of the circuit is basically finished. We're just waiting for Stephen and them to finish the oscillator oscillator and function generator so that it can be plugged in here and everything can work first time perfectly like it definitely will not um, yeah, exactly. but yeah it's going well look at Mika's beautiful cable management Oof. heading back to Resnal for a quick jaunt because Chris has got some SSD drivers we can maybe borrow for him so going back to Res grabbing the components coming straight back yeah man hopefully this pack will be done in like an hour I have seen some very sick looking people around campus today all with serious hangovers. Ugh. I'm very proud of myself actually for not having one today, even though I drank close to half a bottle of some excellent whiskey with fruit juice. Um, the secret is definitely five bottles of water before bed while you edit the Lent Dark vlog because you want it to go out as soon as possible. I'm telling you. Anyway, let's see what Chris has to say about these components. So I'm here with Chris, he's giving me the drivers, but look at his incredible, incredible circuit. Sure. So just explain how it works, because like it looks convoluted to me, and I'm doing the same practical as you. Well, <laughs> to explain how it works, gets a bit tricky. But basically, you just have two players over here, player one and player two over here, and there's just three games that are implemented. You have a random number generator over here, and because each of the games are based off random numbers, they pull from that random number generator. So you have um, this, which is equivalent to rolling a dice. So each time you click 
it comes up with a different number. I'm on from zero to seven. Yeah. And you compare that to what players two values as well. And the same thing over here. This simulates rock paper scissors and lose. Rock paper scissors and lose. And then flipping heads or tails over here for that top LED. It's incredible. And the same thing here. And what the circuit basically does is it takes all these games and does on the um on a best of three case to decide which the overall winner is from all the. Do you have an adder? Sorry? Oh, using yeah, an adder. There's, there's an adder here and there's an adder here. For we haven't even person. covered adders in class. That's awesome. Yeah, well, you weren't actually meant to implement this for the practical. I misread the spec. So also, I love the way you have time. it on both sides like a video game console. Yeah, that was the thing. Just pick it up and if you're really, really lonely, just play with yourself. Just... <laughs> well done, boy. It's awesome. So Mika and I are in my room, making some massive progress. Mika, would you care to tell the vlog about your enlightened moment that has fixed our entire practical? Um, rather not, it makes me sound quite dumb. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically, we were being indecisive with our circuit, and we've not made a decision, and that decision has meant that we get an output. We a bit more complicated than that. We put in pull, but, yeah. was it pull up or pull down? Pull up, because... We put in pull up resistors yeah, on all the is, outputs for our yeah. seven segment display. In electricity, you want a signal that's either a zero or a one, so that it's either off or on. And sometimes... Yeah, but what we're doing at the moment here is we're, we're getting in ones, which become zeros, but they should be ones, so we're turning the zeros into ones to get ones to get actually numbers, because the zeros and ones don't mean shit. That makes sense to me. But, yeah, so it's, it's you got to think, it's like saying I'm not, not, not going out tonight. It's a quadruple negative. Just like, yeah, exactly. It's Are you bit. not, not, not going out tonight? <laughs> I don't want to think that through. Give me, okay, cut the thinking bit out. But yes, I'm not, not, not going out tonight. Uh, <laughs> regardless, circuit's working. We're about to stitch the whole thing together. Yeah. Well, Stefan and Johan built half of it, and Mika and I built the other half. Um, that's the bad boys that we had to add to fix our part of it. So yeah, only five breadboards for a single practical. Seems legit. Uh, it's rock, paper, scissors, actually, but yeah. Okay, okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Uh, okay. yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. It's oh, 23 minutes to 6. I've been awake for a while already. Uh, I was eating some breakfast. I had some friends over last night. Um, and before that, we were working on our ERS prac. And so I didn't get a lot of work done last night, unfortunately. But well, that's fine. Got to be up early today to work on the Fourier transform because we've got a TAT test today. And we're demoing our prac for ERS. So that's going to go well. Then the whole rest of the weekend, I really have to work on the ELI prac on the Fourier transform. It's a whole lot of maths and that that's due on Monday. I haven't started it yet. And neither has anyone in my group. So, a little bit of pressure. But it's cool. I'm going home this afternoon because it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday, dog. Hope you have a great day. Um, and back to res tomorrow already because I gotta get on to this work. But yeah, see you later. Why? Tell the world how come you've been working so hard. So like, I worked on the project the whole of yesterday. Then I went home and I thought it was finished. And then Todd phoned me at 10 and he told me I need to come work. It's broken. Mm, like, it wasn't broken, it just needed to be finished. So I went to 10 and then at the res, you're not allowed to stay like after 12. So it was like two, yeah, it was like two, and then I was like, it might as well stay three. Then it became five, and then half was six, so I just decided. So you just worked through the night. That's what I want to hear. What a boy. Krisha's also here. Hello. How's your pavement subject? Um, pavement is going well. I... What are you learning about at the moment? At the moment, this is soil stabilization. So what do you add to soil to stabilize it as in like you add lime or you add cement to it and then the compaction of it and how the moisture affects how strong your road is going to be and whether your road is going to crack or not. That's really cool. So yeah, and then there's history even. So. Do you understand it though? It's really cool. Cool man. 
The boys are here. The boys haven't had any sleep. Monster. Yes. Is this bad boy working though? Fantastic. These are the kind of vlogs you should expect from me. Not happy party Lented Up vlogs, but hardcore no sleep circuit vlogs. This is the consequence of the Lented Up happy fun party vlog. <laughs> Get all the properties for travel 4.1 or 4.2 to the lock lock. We're in the labs. It's Friday afternoon. We're about to demo our prep. We're completely working, which is wonderful news. Some of the boys are already finished. That's the FPGA implementation. Our lab books have already been marked. I got a nice four out of six. Mikko got, a, I think, the first six out of six for the day. So well done, boy. Oh, Stevie as well. Yes, boy. We finished. We got 98%. Well done, boys. So that means the next one we have to get 100 and. Four. There's lots of bonus marks, the guys are walking out of here with like 104%, but anyway, we'll take it, we'll wait. take it. Mark and them went for their bonus marks and they stayed up the whole night. So I feel sorry for them, but well done, they got, they got 26 and a half I think out of 25. Okay. So, so two marks and no sleep for 25 hours. You know what, I think I might just take the sleep. So just so that you know what real engineering looks like as we're leaving, Jason and uh, Chris's circuit puts ours quite to shame because they have a, a two-player implementation of the same games and far many more lights. And yeah, good luck. Thank you. Enjoy. It's good.